Usually, physicians try to limit polypharmacy or your exposure to excess or redundant medications. Thus if you present with a sore throat that needs antibiotics, you'll receive a prescription for one type of antibiotic not a prescription for several types of antibiotics. More about polypharmacy The reasons for polypharmacy avoidance among physicians is manifold. First, the more medications that you take, the greater the risk of adverse effects or drug-drug interactions. Second whenever possible, a physician tries to prescribe a medication that treats a disease and gets to the root of pathology. Polypharmacy often represents a scattered approach to relieve the symptoms of a disease instead of addressing the disease third, as in the case of antibiotic misuse, polypharmacy can present a risk to public health. Specifically, taking many antibiotics at once and not finishing the course of treatment increases the likelihood that drug-resistant bacteria will spread among the greater population. Drug-resistant bacteria are bad news because they resist treatment with conventional antibiotics. One exception to the general guideline of polypharmacy avoidance is the concurrent use of certain pain medications like acetaminophen, Tylenol, and ibuprofen, Motrin. These medications don't interfere with each other. Furthermore, the treatment of pain is difficult and combining acetaminophen and ibuprofen can help reduce severe pain all while avoiding prescription of opioids. Of note, opioids are medications which carry adverse effects including respiratory depression and potential for abuse. Furthermore, certain opioid formulations like Vicodin or Norco also contain acetaminophen thus increasing total exposure to acetaminophen. Acetaminophen Acetaminophen or Tylenol is a type of analgesic that changes the way we perceive pain and lowers the temperature of our bodies. Antipyretic. It is often combined with other medications to develop different pain formulations. Although the exact mechanism of acetaminophen has yet to be elucidated, we believe this medication works by inhibiting cyclooxygenase, primarily COX-2. Because acetaminophen is metabolized in part by the liver, people with liver problems should avoid this drug when when possible. Ibuprofen Ibuprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, which, like acetaminophen, exerts its effects on cyclooxygenase thus inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis. Prostaglandins mediate pain, inflammation and fever. Inhibition in prostaglandin synthesis also results in vasoconstriction and renal impairment which can lead to kidney failure. Thus, people with kidney problems should steer clear of ibuprofen. On a related note, in some, ibuprofen may also cause stomach ulcers and bleeding. Combining the two interestingly although a common practice, very little research has been done examining the co-administration of ibuprofen and acetaminophen. Some of the earliest research on the topic was done on children. However, it's hard to draw exact correlates between pain and fever relief in children as compared with that of adults.